Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Lauren. Uh, I have not filmed in a few weeks. There is so much going on in the world right now. Um, we're still in a pandemic, although here in Vancouver, um, Canada, some of the restrictions have been lifted, but um, there's so much going on within the black community right now with the senseless killing of George Floyd and so many innocent people before him and it was Breonna Taylor's birthday last week and honestly I just I didn't feel the need or the want I didn't even want to film honestly I was just taking the time to learn and to listen to the voices of the black community truly that's what I was doing um, I was looking up resources and I was just educating myself and trying to learn and just listening um, uh, as you know, I'm a teacher, so I was really looking into different resources that I can bring into my classroom for next year and just trying to educate myself more so I can learn different ways that I can support the black community. So um, this is not something that's temporary. We can always continue to learn. We can always continue to educate ourselves more so that we can help the oppressed communities uh, within our country, within our city. So. As well here in Canada, the indigenous peoples have been oppressed for many years as well. So it's just learning more constantly and educating yourself and looking up resources. So I will link some resources down below. Um, there's different links and organizations that you can donate to. Um, I've donated to Hogan's Alley and to Black Lives Matter. I think it's the Vancouver chapter here. But if you don't have the means to donate um, any money, then there's so many other ways you can support. You can pro go to protests, rallies, you can write letters to um, you know government officials, you can support black owned businesses, you can just read, learn, listen, there's so much you can do. So that took forever. So I, I just had to get it out there because it's important. So I have a voice, so why don't I just speak up, right? So oh, the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing you a new piece that I picked up from Louis Vuitton and I think that this video will be helpful for you because it will show you a comparison to the ever so popular piece by Louis Vuitton which is this one here and this is the clay or it's also called uh, the key pouch from Louis Vuitton and this is just such a great entry piece into the brand if you are interested in it. I know that um, this was my first piece when I was looking at Louis Vuitton and it just sort of gives you an idea about the canvas and how it wears but it's also very functional and I'll get into that later and so I found a piece online from the men's collection that I think might even be better than this depending on what you're planning on using it for I should also state that because this has multiple functions whereas the next piece has multiple functions too that I'm going to show you but um what I plan on using it for, I think it's better than this key pouch right here. Um, so before I show you this piece, actually that's it, let me show you it. So I picked this up from the um, Louis Vuitton and Holt Renfrew. This was sold out online and this was the last one actually in store. So um, you can definitely hit the notify me button um, on the website so that when it comes back in stock, if you're interested in it, you can be notified. Um, this is called, so it's called the Porte Monet Jour, but it's also just called the coin purse under the men's side. And it's in the monogram eclipse. So let me show you the piece and then we can do some comparisons because like I said, I think it might be better than this for me. So I haven't used it yet. So there's this little dust bag. And like I said, this is from the men's side. So here it is. Uh, as you can see, it's just one piece of canvas in the beautiful monogram eclipse. And then it has the, I think it's called rhodinium, rhodinium hardware, um, which is like this, this kind of steel silverish color. And it has the, um, silver hardware there as opposed to the brass hardware and then it has an L zip so when you open it up it has a gusset so that I can open up fairly wide as you can see sort of in there and I don't know if you're going to be able to get a 
good picture of this. There is a slip pocket right there, so you could put um, a card in there. And mine is made in France, which is really nice. So it's my first, like I said, monogram eclipse piece, and it is made in France. And then in here, it's just the textile card that it always comes with. Let's just compare the size to begin with, and that will be our first comparison. So looking at the size difference between the two, you can see that, I was trying to get this as perfect as possible, the men's coin purse is just slightly taller, and then you can see it's also wider, obviously. Let me zip this up. And then it is a little bit kind of shorter. So line it up. You can see that the coin or the key pouch sticks out a tiny bit more. So this is sort of taller, but a little bit shorter. So there you go. You can kind of see the difference there. And again, you can see the difference here. And then the difference in height. And there you go. So. That's the size comparison. They're both fairly similar in size. Now, um, let's go over some more comparisons. So this obviously has the brass kind of gold hardware there. And if you look at mine, I picked this up five years ago, I believe. So if you take a look at it, this is my first piece. There is definitely some wear on the hardware. So there you go. You can kind of see that it's a little bit rubbed off and it's a little bit um, discolored on that pull tab right there and then here you can also see that it's discolored as well and rubbed off. Um, other than that some loose threads you can kind of see here but other than that the corners has a little bit of um, wear but that is it. Now this, because it is this silver sort of hardware that you have here, this doesn't tarnish and it doesn't, or it doesn't sort of rub off. So I have had, let me show you this one from the men's line. This is the men's um, coin card holder, which I will do a review on because this is such a great piece. But this one here has that same hardware and I've had this now for, I can't remember if I got it last year. Um, or if I got this year, but you can see that this one here has virtually nowhere, no scratches, nothing. It basically kind of looks perfect and brand new. So that's what I like about this sort of silver hardware is that you won't really be rubbing on it. You don't have to worry about. Now comparing the functionality of these two. So when I first got this, um, I planned on using it as just a small wallet. So putting my cards in there and some change, whatever. Um, I did that for a while and then I moved on to using this as um, a key, an actual key holder for my car key. The issue I had with that was that my old car wasn't a push start so I had to actually put my key into the ignition and what would happen was this would hang and sometimes my knee would hit the bottom of this if I were moving into like to the brake or to the acceleration and then this would hit the bottom of the steering wheel and it would jam and that was not safe. I have a whole video on this review of this listed down below so I'll put it somewhere in the cards and down below. Um, so now I strictly just use this as a coin purse. I just dumped all my coins out of here. So I can show you sort of what fits inside. So let's look at the functionality of using this as a small wallet. So when you open it, that's as big as it sort of gets. So I have some cards here. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four sort of standard cards and I'm gonna put that inside here. And then I'm gonna take some change and I'm gonna throw my change inside. Now this does not fit bills um, if you fold it once. I don't have any bills, but I do have like this sort of check. So if you see, if you put this in, it doesn't fit. So you do have to fold this a few times if that was money. And then there you go. So that's your small wallet. Now the issue I had with this is that when you're trying, so you're at the register and you're trying to look for your cards, it's a very sort of tight, Fit because it doesn't open up so you really have to be at a good angle and you have to kind of be peeking inside and digging and sort of seeing what you have in there. Um, the opening for this too 
fits the cards, but as you can see, sometimes it can grip and grab onto the side there. So if you're planning on getting this to use this as a small wallet, it will work and it's functional. Just note it might be a little bit tricky to see the cards and to get the money or the coins that you sort of want. Um, it's totally fine, like I said, if you want to just put your keys on there like that or if you just want to use it as a coin purse like I do. Now with this one, because it's so smart and it has the slip here already, let's take these cards out. You could put your cards in and then say you have that your one credit card that's really important to you, you could just put it right into this back sort of slip pocket so you know where that card is. And then the rest, your other four cards can go right there. And then let's take this change I had in there out. So, and then you put your change in as well and money won't, will be the same. You'll have to fold it a few times and let's put our money in there. And now when you open it up, because it's so wide, you know that you have your sort of one really important card that you use quite often there. But then when you turn this way and you want to see the cards, I don't know if I can show you. See, it's just so easy. There's so much room to sort of slide through and see all the different cards that you want. And it's really easy as well to find your change. So there's just a ton of room in this. So if you are planning on getting this, to use as a small wallet, I suggest looking at this because like I said, it's practically the same size, but it's just so much more convenient. Like look at this, you open it up and because it's like that L zip, you can just open this up nice and wide. You can dig around, you can find things in there. This is very reminiscent of like, I find the zippy coin purse, but without as many sort of accordion sort of slots. Um, it's just not as big. so or the Zippy Multicartes, I should say. Sorry, from the woman's side. So I think this is just such a great piece. And you can definitely fit more cards in there. So I have one in the back and then I put four. So let me get five, six. What other cards do I have here? I mean, you could really load it up. Six, seven, eight, nine. So now, let's see, I have nine cards in here and I still have all that change that I put in as well and then we can zip it up and there you go. So that's with nine cards in there and you still, when you open it up, you can still really dig through and you can find the cards that you want because it opens up so far. So I think that's what the benefit of this is. And you can also just use it as a coin purse too, like it's meant to be used. So if I put all my coins in there and I still just put um, you know, a card in there and maybe if I were to use this strictly for cash, I could take the card out and I could put my folded up bill into this little slide pocket, this little side pocket there. So now this can just be for carrying cash, right? So it's amazing. It's just such a great piece. So there you go. Like I said, you could also put, if you want to use this for keys and say you're just heading out to maybe go walk your dog or your pet or something, then you could put your house key in there. You could put your credit card, your ID, whatever. And you could just take this and throw this into your wallet or sorry, throw this into your pocket. So I'm gonna show you the difference in size between these two as well. So this is the one that I've been using. This is the men's coin card holder. Um, like I said, I'll do a review on this because this is my favorite piece to be completely honest. And I've been using this quite a bit. It's very slim as you can see. So this one is definitely fatter. But um, this one's also a lot sort of longer. So you can see the size difference there. So um, grabbing and going with this is quite easy, but just like with this, it's just perfect. And um, I think this will go really well in my mini bags that I have. So I have one sort of fancy bag that I take with me um, every, when I have like a special occasion to go to. And that is my YSL blogger bag. So this will fit inside very nicely. And for my, um, waist bags or my like 
I always call them fanny packs, but um, for my Moschino one and for my Gucci bum bag, really this would fit in perfectly. So I think this is just such a good option. Now there is a difference in price. So this one right now, when I bought it, it was $240. $20. It has gone up to $265. And if you get the men's Damier Graphite, which is the one I gave away in my last giveaway, um, that one's $270 now. So, I mean, it's gone up in price quite a bit. This one is $360. So, it is $100 more than this one. So, just note that. But I feel like if you are planning on getting this to use as a small wallet, look at this option because this to me is a better option. All right, so my final thoughts on this piece. I think that this is also a good entryway into Louis Vuitton. I know it's $100 more, but I feel like this piece is still one of the more affordable pieces on Louis Vuitton and I think that it is fairly functional, like I said, because it has this L zip and because it has this sort of extra little pocket right here this little slip pocket, I feel like this just makes it very functional and very useful. Um, so if you are deciding between these two, just remember and just please think about what you're planning on using it for. If you are looking at this for a small wallet, then I would look at this. If you're looking at using this for your keys and using it as a key pouch, um, this, is, this will definitely work but I would probably choose the six key ring holder that I actually have and I'll link a review of that down below. I like the six key ring holder much more for my keys than this piece. Um, if you're planning on using this just for change, then this works totally fine. Or if you're planning on using it for earbuds and things like that, I think this is totally fine. But you could also do the same with this and I just feel like this is a little bit more functional. Um, so there you go, there you have it. That's my final sort of review on this piece. If you have any questions, please continue, or sorry, please leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer them. And until I see you next, please continue to take care of yourself as well as all the others around you. Continue to educate yourself and to learn and to listen. Um, and I will see you in my next video.